In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to get your first copywriting client, even if you have zero experience, because I've been able to use exactly what I'm about to show you in this video to make over 10K a month with copywriting myself as a beginner. And I've also helped thousands of other copywriters get their first paying client. And I've even helped multiple of my students cross 10K a month. And the proof is on this very channel. And at the end of this video, not only will I be giving you access to the exact outreach methods that I've used, but I will also be giving you the literal screenshots of the conversations that I've had with business owners to turn them into paying clients that actually ended up paying me over 4K every single month. And look, I get it. As a beginner copywriter, it's really hard to figure out how you can actually start getting clients because your biggest drawback is that you don't have any proof to show that what you do works. Well, don't worry, because in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to overcome that one disadvantage, because in reality, it's a lot simpler than a lot of people realize. There's only really four things that you can do and that will instantly take you from someone struggling with your outreach to someone who can actually start getting on those sales calls and land clients, even though you don't have any prior experience as a copywriter. And the first way is to either use what experience you have or even use other people's experience. Now, hear me out. Why do you think in sports we have a referee? Well, we have a referee because the players can't decide if things were foul or against the rules because they're, of course, incentivized. They want to win, just like us as copywriters are incentivized to maybe not be 100 percent honest all the time. And that's how our clients feel. That's why they have a hard time trusting us, especially if we don't have any social proof or past experience. But there is a referee. Now, the reason we trust the referee is because he is objective. He doesn't have a horse in the game, or at least he shouldn't, right? So we can use this to our advantage in copywriting when we're actually going to get clients. And the way that we do this is by borrowing other people's experience. So let's say, for example, you're trying to prove a point, an overall generalization to your client, something like this email marketing strategy really works. It can make you thousands of dollars every single month. And if you don't believe me or if you need some extra proof, this is exactly what Alex Hermosi uses. This is exactly what Grant Cardone uses. This is exactly what Gary Vee uses. And they've talked about it in multiple of their videos. And I can show you the literal emails that they have written that I've actually been able to replicate. And if you use these emails and you're able to get the exact same results that they can get. Now, see there, I wasn't using my own past experience. I wasn't using my past clients to prove a point. I was just using other people that are very well trusted in the industry. And that's because we have to look at what experience really is. Experience is really only just something that gives your clients a little bit of trust. But experience, what most people don't realize about it is that it's just one pillar of trust. And there are many ways to get people to trust you without your own experience. And this comes down to a core principle that every copywriter should know, which is to show and prove people rather than just tell them things and expect them to listen. And you can do this in multiple different ways. We just use the example of actually borrowing other people's proof, but we can also use stats and facts, and we can also use analogies to simply explain points and a whole bunch of other justifications and ways that you can use from learning copywriting skills to actually translate them into outreach skills as well. And before I move on to the next point, the last thing that I really want to make you guys understand is that most people, you including, definitely have more experience than you give yourself credit for. If you've ever written five pieces of copy or five emails, then that right there is experience. Now you have a portfolio that you can put together. And if they ask, do you have any experience? You can say, yeah, here is some of my copy. You don't go into a sales call. And when the objection comes up, well, what experience do you have? Say, well, none. That's not true. You've been studying copywriting. You've been writing copy. You've been reviewing other people's copy. You've had your copy reviewed by other people. So again, just realize that when it comes down to experience, you know that you have at least something and whatever experience you have, you need to be able to show that and communicate that to your potential clients. And that leads me into the second strategy of actually getting clients, even though you don't have any experience. And that is to simply show social proof or show that you're a high value person. So check this out. There are dudes out there who literally, you know, buy a Rolex or a fake Rolex. They rent out a Lamborghini, they take a bunch of pictures, they put them on their Instagram, right? They, they look like they have this lifestyle. Maybe they're living in Dubai or something. And now they're like, hey, if you want to learn how to live the lifestyle that I'm learning right now and that I'm living right now, all you got to do is pay me for a course or whatever, right? 
And then this is how they're actually able to really afford that lifestyle in the future. And this is called lifestyle marketing. Now, I'm not saying that you should do this exact method, but we can take this lesson. We could take the power of just showcasing that you're high value and use it to your advantage because you'd be surprised at how this can work for your everyday person just to actually showcase that they're high value. For example, if you just take some photos of you at nice places, doing nice things, dressed really nice, or having things or doing things that are just high value activities all together, then this is going to build your social proof and actually build your trust. And this is something that a lot of people don't realize and don't understand is that people judge a book by its cover now more than ever, especially on social media. And when you're outreaching the clients, especially on something like Instagram, they are going to check out your profile and you need to use that as your advantage. If you have a profile where your face isn't on it, or it's just infographics or you just have random posts and four followers, you're going to look sketchy. You just are. But on the other hand, if you show yourself as a professional in professional settings, doing professional things, this is going to greatly increase your value, even if you don't have the biggest copywriting resume ever. And this is essentially because there is a gigantic skill gap in the market right now. There is millions and millions of low quality copywriters out there, low quality people who call themselves copywriters who are really just half dedicated. And even if they got a client, they'd probably do a terrible job anyways, because they're just not that good. They're not professional, they're not actually hardworking. They just say they want it. They just say that they're a copywriter, but they're not actually. But then on the other hand, you have high value copywriters, okay? These are people like the guys in the interviews that I do on my channel every once in a while that are literally bringing in 10K, 13K, 18K, 20K and above. And they're essentially able to get clients whenever they want and they're able to charge whatever they want. In fact, a lot of them have too many clients, too much projects to handle, and they're just working all the time, but they're making tons of money. How is this possible? Well, the reason is because those students actually position themselves as high value and you can do the exact same thing too. You don't need to be some sort of influencer or try to get thousands of followers, literally just a hundred followers or more and a couple of strategic good posts maybe some reels or some photos or some good captions as well are more than enough for you to land some premium copywriting clients. And not to mention, it's going to set you apart from the sea of other freelancers who are out there who are just extremely desperate. You don't want to be lumped in with them. You don't want guilt by association. Instead, you want to actually appear as higher value than all of them. But that's not all because here's the third biggest way to actually get copywriting clients without past experience. And that is to simply master the art of the offer. Now look, it's often said that the best salesperson can sell ice to an Eskimo, but this is completely wrong and backwards. The reason being is because an Eskimo doesn't need ice. So you shouldn't be hopping on calls or have the mindset of, I just need to sell, 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 sell. I need to sell somebody my copy. I need to make money or just be all, all desperate like this. And the reason why is because when you get on these calls, now you're going to feel all nervous and now you're going to feel gross and icky because you just feel like that salesperson because you are being that salesperson. And I can't stress this enough. Your goal should not ever be to sell your copy. Your goal should be to see if your copywriting would be a good fit for the client. And I don't exaggerate when I say this, there have been so many times when I've hopped on sales calls with potential clients and it didn't seem like a good fit. So I just hopped off the call because either I didn't really feel as though their business was in a position where my copywriting would be able to help them because their business wasn't big enough or they weren't getting enough leads, et cetera, et cetera. Or they weren't able to actually pay my premium price or they just weren't good clients that I wanted to work with in the long term and I had better opportunities out there. And you have to go into every single sales call with the same mindset that if this doesn't work out or I'm not paid what I know I'm, I deserve to be paid, then this call needs to end immediately. And I get it, as a complete beginner, this seems completely backwards. Why would I hop off a call if I'm trying to get my first copywriting client no matter what? But the thing is that this small mindset change is going to completely revolutionize how you outreach and how you come off to your clients. Because when you have the mindset of just scarcity of, I just want a client no matter what, that's gonna come off in your outreach, that's gonna come off in your sales calls, you're gonna look like you're just desperately trying to get a client and this is going to repel everybody from you. Even if they had an idea of maybe I'll work with him in the future, now uh, they're just not gonna to wanna to work with you at all because you look and you're acting like somebody who has no experience. When you go into these calls and you have confidence and you 
act like someone with experience and you are confident in yourself that maybe if you don't have all the experience, you know that you are hardworking enough to figure it out as you go on, then this is when you're able to actually start closing sales calls. And if you have really no experience, I mean, you've never worked for not even one copywriting client before, not even for a testimonial or not even for a free trial or anything, then essentially the risk is just going to have to be put on you instead of the business owner most of the times, which means you need to come up with some sort of a low risk offer some sort of offer where it's just a $500 one-time project. The worst case scenario, if you've been on a complete dry spell and you're willing to do it, then sure, you should do a free trial, right? Work for a client for a week and then have them pay you after, after they see the results or just do commission. But just know that these are not the ideal clients. These are not the clients that you want to stick with long-term. They're simply there so that you can say, yes, I've worked with a client before. And once you're done working with one low paying client, I'm telling you, you're going to want to get out of that low paying client space. You don't want to have like three low paying clients paying you $500 a month each, because that is how you get stuck in the copywriter who's working 40 to 60 hours every single week, but still you're not actually making a whole bunch of money. Right. And I know tons of copywriters who are stuck at that position. And if you're stuck at that position, the biggest thing you need to do is what I just said, which is just increase your value and master the art of the offer. And the fourth and possibly most important part of actually getting clients without experience is to master outreach. Look, outreach is simple and can essentially be broken down into just a couple of parts. Am I getting enough people actually looking and opening my outreach messages? Am I getting people to reply to my outreach messages? Am I getting people who say yes to when I offer them value? When I offer them value, do they want to get on a call after? And when I got on these calls, am I able to close and turn them into potential clients? And if you master these steps, you will literally be able to get as many clients as you want. And if you get hung up on one point, all you have to do is focus on that one constraint and the rest of your outreach will actually finally start to work. And now you're going to see exactly how I do every single one of these points inside of the free copy starter kit, which is down below, which literally shows every single message that I've sent to clients to actually get those businesses to pay me $2,000 to $4,000 every single month, right? So these are multiple conversations that I've had where people have actually gotten on sales calls with me, I close the sales call, and then I close the client and start making money. And this was me when I was a complete beginner. I didn't have years of experience. I didn't have tons of copywriting clients already in the past, but I was still able to actually get those clients and close them because of the things that I showed you here in this video. So make sure you go down below and download the free copy starter kit if you actually want to go there and see those conversations and see those outreaches that I did to actually get those clients. I'll put a couple of videos that you can watch next on screen. And of course, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.